Welcome to this old couch. Today we're going to recap the plot of Gattaca. If you haven't seen it yet and are worried about spoilers, turn back now. You have been warned. Gattaca is a 1997 film set in the near future where one's genetic makeup determines one's place at a neocast society. Children are selectively bred through artificial selection to inherit the best traits of their parents. And, yeah, let's call a spade a spade here. This is eugenics. The artificially selected children are known as valids. Vincent Freeman is not one of these children. No, Vincent is an invalid, or a faith birth. His parents decided to roll the dice, conceiving Vincent in the back of a Buick Riviera and not in a geneticist lab. Unfortunately, he got a crappy role with an estimated 30-year lifespan due to a heart condition, as well as a high statistical likelihood of mental illness. Also, this crappy role causes Antonio, his father, to name him Vincent instead of Anton, presumably because Antonio is an ass. Vincent's parents decide to leave the Riviera behind and use their local geneticist for their second child. They name this child Anton, because Antonio is, indeed, an ass. As they grow up, Vincent and Anton develop an intense rivalry. Vincent spends his days dreaming of space travel, while Anton is lavished in the praise of his family and their peers. Vincent and Anton often play chicken by seeing who can swim out to sea the furthest without getting scared and turning back. Vincent gives up every time and returns to shore, losing the game. One day, when the brothers were older, Vincent pulled away from Anton in the race. He looks back to find his brother had began to drown. Vincent saves him and realizes that he can do anything if he wants it bad enough. This gives him the motivation to leave home to chase down his dream of space travel. Despite Vincent's dream, invalids are discriminated against because of their inferior genes. While this type of discrimination is illegal, it doesn't stop them from being forced to take the menial jobs available in society. Because of this, the closest Vincent is ever going to get to spaceflight is cleaning the offices at Gattaca Aerospace. Vincent eventually arranges a meeting with a DNA broker, a person who specializes in helping invalids assume the identity of a valid who is, for whatever reason, unable to live up to expectations. They call this kind of arrangement a borrowed ladder. Vincent meets Jerome Morrow, who is confined to a wheelchair after he was struck by a car. Jerome initially doubts Vincent's commitment to their plan, though after he goes through with a surgery to match Jerome's height, Jerome never seriously questions his commitment again. Vincent, after some hair dye, dental work, contacts, and a major surgery, is now Jerome Morrow. Using his newfound identity and armed with Jerome's genetic materials, Vincent secures a job at Gattaca, no longer cleaning windows, but now as a prospective navigator for a deep space mission to Saturn's moon, Titan. In order to maintain the ruse, Vincent must scrub and scrape his skin daily to remove as much loose genetic material as possible all the while wearing blood sachets on his fingertips full of Jerome's blood, and carrying Jerome's urine with him to pass the daily substance screenings. He vacuums his keyboard and workstation before planting Jerome's loose biological matter in the workplace, skin flakes in his keyboard, a hair on his comb. Just a week before Vincent is set to depart for his mission, one of the administrators at Gattaca is brutally murdered, beaten to death with a keyboard. All of the meticulous grooming by Vincent is for naught when a stray eyelash is found by investigators during a sweep of the office. Vincent becomes suspect number one, but knows he only needs to avoid detection for seven more days. After that, he says, he'll be safely out of their jurisdiction. In addition to the investigators on his trail, Vincent is pursued by Irene Cassini, a co-worker and rival turned love interest. Irene confesses to Vincent that she had his DNA sampled using the hair she found on the comb at his desk. She, assuming that he is Jerome, begins to fall for him and he for her. She reveals that she will never go to space because of her increased likelihood for heart disease. In exchange for the breach of privacy, Irene offers Vincent one of her hairs to scan, but he tosses it away, illustrating that his attraction to her is more than good or bad genes. While attempting to avoid the investigators and woo Irene, Vincent is nearly exposed when a cup with his DNA is found in the trash. The investigators are beginning to believe they have a borrowed ladder in Gattaca and decide to test blood directly from the employee's veins. Vincent, after pretending Dr. Lamar has hurt him during the blood draw, switches his invalid sample with Jerome's valid blood. 
another close call. During their second date, when Irene and Vincent are interrupted by the police, Vincent flees with Irene in tow. He is stopped by a police officer whom he attacks. As they run, the lead detective screams Vincent's name, his real name, down the alley. Vincent reveals part of the truth to Irene and the two spend the night together. The lead detective is now certain that Vincent is Jerome and intends to test him again to make sure. Upon overhearing this, Irene intercepts Vincent and suggests he go home because he doesn't look like he feels well. Vincent, realizing the investigators will go to his home to find him, calls Jerome and suggests that he just be himself for the day. Without much time to spare, Jerome casts himself out of his wheelchair and drags himself up the stairs to answer the door buzzer. After the pain and anguish of pulling himself up the stairs, Jerome composes himself and meets the detective who brought Irene with him. Irene, stupefied to find Jerome, the real Jerome, where she so badly wanted Vincent to be, shakes her to the core. The detective is also shaken when he tests Jerome's blood, only to find out that he is, indeed, who he says he is. Before the detective can search the rest of the property, Detective Hugo calls him over the radio to alert him that they found the murderer. As the detective leaves, Vincent comes up the stairs and addresses Jerome, who retorts by addressing Vincent as Jerome. Irene attempts to flee, confused and betrayed at what she's seeing. She is intercepted by Vincent on the way out. She says that she has no idea who he is, but he responds that he's the same person he was when they were together. It's here Vincent lays out his heart defect to Irene, their shared bond, proof that you can be more than they say you can. Back at Gattaca, the lead detective meets up with Detective Hugo, his director Yosef, in custody. Claiming to have found the director's spit in the victim's eye, the detectives are forced to admit the invalid they were chasing was a red herring. The mission director was threatening to cancel the Titan mission. Yosef murdered him because he knew that if the launch was canceled, there wouldn't be another in his lifetime. Vincent asked Jerome about the detective that came by the house. He wanted to know his name. What does he look like? What did he say? Vincent knows it will never be over until he confronts the detective. He travels back to Gattaca after hours. The detective, sitting at a workstation, reveals himself to be Anton, Vincent's brother. Are we brothers? Vincent asks. The two have an argument over Vincent's right to be at Gattaca. Anton offers to help him get out of there and beat the fraud rap. Vincent's reply that Anton has no idea what it took to even get into Gattaca. Anton, livid at Vincent, challenges him to their childhood game of chicken. It's dark, foggy, and foreboding on the beach as both men strip down to begin their challenge. As they swim and swim and swim, Anton begs Vincent to tell him how he's doing this, how he's keeping up with him, and even passing him, how he's done all that he's done at Gattaca, and Vincent, knowing he finally made it on his own merits, tells his brother his secret. I never saved anything for the swim back. After the challenge, Vincent visits Irene. He gives her a hair directly from his head. Let me know if you're still interested. Mirroring one of their first scenes together, she drops the hair, a sign that she accepts Vincent for who he is, not who the world wants him to be. On the day of the launch, Jerome shows Vincent enough genetic material for two lifetimes and gives him a letter he's instructed not to open until he leaves the planet. Vincent arrives at Gattaca to find there's one last surprise urine screening before launch. Vincent knows he will be discovered because he has none of Jerome's urine for the sample. Dr. Lamar, while Vincent laments being found out, tells Vincent of his boy, who, while genetically engineered, hasn't exactly lived up to expectations. After Vincent's sample comes back invalid, Dr. Lamar, who knew that Vincent wasn't Jerome the whole time, switches Vincent's ID to Jerome's and tells him not to miss his flight. As Vincent enters the cramped rocket, we see the cuts of Jerome climbing into a cramped space. As the hatch shuts onto the rocket, we see Jerome's small capsule close. We recognize Jerome's space from earlier in the film. It's the incinerator where Vincent scrubbed himself down and destroyed his loose skin and hair. Jerome is committing suicide in the incinerator. As a camera shows the flames of the rocket launching, we cut to the flames rising in the incinerator. The camera lingers on Jerome's silver metal the symbol of his personal failures and the reason he threw himself in front of the car which took the use of his legs. 
While Jerome's life ends tragically on Earth, Vincent's life is just beginning as he hurtles into space. Opening the letter Jerome gave him, he finds a cutting of Jerome's hair. Gattaca was released in 1997 by Columbia Pictures and was directed by Andrew Nichol. It was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Art Direction and Golden Globe for Best Original Score. All right, guys, thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.